Hey, hey everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are making an Instant Pot Shrimp Scampi recipe, which is divine because it's a dump and go recipe, which means that you just put it all in the pot, put the lid on, cook it, and then it is ready to eat in a literal three minute cook time. So you are gonna love this recipe, let's get started. In order to make this recipe, you're gonna need to have your Instant Pot or any other pressure cooker. And into that pressure cooker, you're gonna put one and three quarter cups of chicken broth, one quarter cup of white wine, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of lemon juice, a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of garlic, and two tablespoons of butter. It can be cold or softened, doesn't matter. You're also gonna need eight ounces, so a half pound of angel hair pasta. And your pasta is gonna be dry because it's gonna cook right in the liquid that's in the pressure cooker right now. So if you've watched any of my other videos before that use spaghetti, such as my cacio e pepe recipe in the Instant Pot, you would know that we can't put the noodles in like this because they're not gonna fit. So what we need to do instead is take a grouping of them Stick our hands kind of in the pot so that, you know, they don't break all over the place. And we're gonna break them in half and then put them in the liquid. I love cooking my pasta in the pressure cooker because when you cook on the stove top, you cook in water, right? But when you cook your pasta in the pressure cooker, you cook it in chicken broth and that gives it so much more flavor. It's awesome. All right, now we have all of our pasta in the pressure cooker. We need to make sure that it's all covered in liquid. So I'm gonna use my um, wooden spoon and just kinda press all of the noodles and make sure that they get submerged in the liquid. If they're not submerged, they're not gonna cook right. And then lastly, we have one pound of deveined, detailed raw shrimp that you're gonna put on top of the noodles. The shrimp that I'm using today, I bought frozen and then I thawed it. Sometimes I buy it directly thawed from the um, fish counter. You can do that too. You can also put it in here completely frozen and it will thaw it before it starts cooking. And then your um, pressure building time might be a little bit longer, but it'll all be the same in the end. You don't need to change the cook time or anything. Once you have all the ingredients in the pressure cooker, you just need to put the lid on, turn it to pressure, and then we're gonna set the timer for three minutes on high. Once the timer has reached zero, once the pasta has cooked all the way in the pressure cooker, you're gonna perform a quick release, which means that we're gonna let the pressure out of the pressure cooker quickly instead of letting it release naturally. Oh man, we got some cooked scampi ready for enjoyment. If you looked inside this pot, you might notice that right now there's a little bit extra liquid in there. Um, that's totally fine. When pasta cooks in the Instant Pot or pressure cooker, sometimes there's some liquid left behind, but it always soaks it up in the first like five minutes. So don't be worried if there's a little bit of extra liquid in there more than what you were expecting. It'll soak it up eventually. And now the only thing left to do is sprinkle some parsley on top because every good scampi comes with parsley, right? So we have one third of a cup of chopped parsley that I will just sprinkle on top for good measure there, mostly just to make it look beautiful. And then some Parmesan cheese for each individual plating. And look, you can already tell that the extra liquid has been soaked up. Now it's nice and juicy, the good sauce on there. I only got three shrimp, I think I need more. I'm one of those people that never says when at the Italian restaurant. The more Parmesan cheese, the better in my opinion. That is heaven. It's so easy cooking the pasta right in the pressure cooker and it's so much more flavorful than a shrimp scampi that you would make on the stove because everything is cooked all together.